Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to share with you my setup for self-filming fishing videos. I've had a lot of questions and comments here late, lately asking what type of gear that I use to make my videos. And so today I'd like to share with you kind of where I'm at on my journey in this, this self-filming thing. So let's talk about some of the challenges with self-filming. Anybody that knows that have tried to self-film their fishing videos, they've ran into a lot of hurdles and um, frustrations. I know I have things such as battery life, uh, SD card space, um, getting the camera in the right position, audio. I've, I've faced those challenges and today I, I kind of want to share with you what I've used to, to minimize those frustrations and just uh, help produce uh, better videos. Everybody's got different goals with, with self-filming or putting it on social media, but mine are to have fun to keep as simple as possible and always continue to learn. You know, just every video, just try something different, try to get a little bit better with each video. So anybody that's watched my channel knows that mainly I do fly fishing, but I will, I will go set jugs or set yo-yos or crappie fish or catfish. I love it all. My main passion is fly fishing, but I love all the different types of fishing. A lot of those different types of fishing may require a little different setup. So, and that could be with your wading, kayaking, boating, my, my, my setup's going to be a little bit different, so I'll kind of go through that and uh, share with you what I use in those different, different scenarios. Alright, so let's talk about the cameras that I use. My main cameras are a GoPro 10. Inside this case is a GoPro 8, a drone, and then I'm filming off of a phone. A Note 20 Ultra is, I believe, what this phone is. So yeah, those are the four main... Um, cameras that I'm using. Let's kind of walk through each one of these and I'll kind of share with you the the mounts and the tripods I use for these. So this is my GoPro 10. If I could only use one thing um, or if I'm going wading down a creek or a stream, this is the first camera that I'm grabbing. This is my, my main setup. This is this is called a Volta. I bought this about a year ago. I wasn't sure if I'd really like it or you know I bought so many GoPro accessories over the years and Half of them are sitting in shoe boxes that you just I just don't find myself using. So I was, I was a little bit skeptical, but I was like, man, that, that looks really cool. I could see where maybe that would help. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why. It basically has a built-in battery pack. So I think this is the equivalent to maybe three or four GoPro batteries. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm not having to change out batteries all the time. Another thing I love about this is uh, I run this in my chest mount. And so this is how I'm filming with it, with it just like this. And I love this quick clip because I can just unclip it really quick. I can vlog with it. And uh, I can also, if I'm walking or wanting to sit it down on something, I just sit it down on, on its uh, little legs there. So it's also, what I also like about it, it's got a quarter 20 on the bottom. So you can put this on a tripod, put it on the back of your kayak um, in a quarter 20. And uh, yeah, that'll work. I'll tell you another thing that I like about this is I don't run a battery inside this and I've found that that's pretty important especially when it's hot because what I'll do is I'll plug this in and then I'll run an external battery to this and then not having a battery in this having that open cage inside and having my external battery run into here as opposed to here and having a battery in it it doesn't it doesn't get hot so um, I really like that so it also doubles as a rem you can also use this as a remote i don't i don't do that but uh, maybe something i'll play around with in the future but just haven't just haven't had any need for it right now so what i run most of the time is this chest mount this gopro chest mount and this sits right inside there so that's that's what i'm filming with most of the time um, i know some people like them on their head um, I just can't, I just can't wear, uh, I, I've tried the GoPro on my head and I just like everything right here because I can see if I'm recording, I can just press a button, I just, I can see everything and I move my head around a lot and it, 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 uh, it makes me sick watching it so I know it does other people. Another reason I don't like wearing on my head is uh, it gives me a headache so I've just, I've just found that I've got to wear one on my chest. For me, uh, everybody's different but um, everything right, right here. So another, and like I said, if you want to take it out, you just unclip it, and now you've got 
kind of a selfie stick type deal. If I couldn't grab anything else, this right here is what I'm taking and I can be able to capture everything. Another mount that I use frequently is, I use these all the time. Um, I think they're called Jaws, I'm not sure. I'll put a link to everything in the description, So, um, but I just call them Jaws. You know, I'll just clip it on something and yeah, just find myself using these all the time. So those are a couple mounts that I use. Um, I've got a tripod right now that I'm filming off of. I believe it's called Targus. And then I have a uh, phone holder that uh, is metal, which I really like and it's very durable, which is holding my phone right now. Um, so those are kind of the mounts and tripods that I use. Um, like I said, just keeping it simple. Inside this, uh, this is just an old camera case that I found and um, I'll kind of show you what I got in here. But this is basically all my GoPro 8 stuff. Um, and I like this little kit because I can, <clears throat> I can put it on my, uh, on my belt or something like that. But when I'm waiting, I use this GoPro 8. Um, like I said, I keep it on my belt or just pretty accessible. And um, this is gonna be uh, my second point of view camera or most of the time I'm using this just to pull out and get a water shot because I don't want that fish out of the water for a long time. Um, so I can just have this in my pocket, boom, stick it in water, press the button and um, can get that under, underwater shot. So this is a GoPro 8 and I just leave the quick clip on it. Um, inside I've got a battery charger and that's it. I've got a few other things in here. A cable to run to the charger, some lens, protectors, another battery. So I've got four total batteries for this GoPro 8 and that usually works out pretty well for what I use it for. But yeah, I use this for a second point of view camera. If I'm on my kayak, um, I'll have like this on my chest. And then I'll have this mounted behind me so I can, I can have this, this chest view and I can have this uh, super view that kind of captures everything. So <clears throat> if I'm waiting, I'm just using this to get an underwater shot or just a, that's mainly what I'm using for, for waiting is just to have a quick underwater shot or just to pull it out and get a shot of something here uh, real quick. So. <clears throat> So anybody that's watched my videos knows that um, the drone kind of gives it, um, and it just does so much for the video. Um, it just gives you a way different perspective of the landscape. It shows the beauty of the place and just a, another point of view. And so I really, anytime I have a chance to fly the drone, I really try to commit and make myself take the time to get it out and film it. And, and the reason I like this drone is because it's super easy to use. If you had a big bulky drone that's hard to use, you're out there fishing or on a river or lake and it, whatever it is, and you don't want to take the time to pull everything out, um, to carry something in there. It just, it's, it's, not, it's not simple. But yeah, I really like this drone because it's simple. It's uh, easy to carry around with me. Uh, we've got this nice case for it. Um, but this is a DJI Mavic Mini. We use this thing all the time. Comes with a controller. I purchased an extra battery. Each battery gets about, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes. So you're looking at, you know, 30 to 45 minutes of footage. And usually that's all I need to kind of just show, show that perspective of uh, the landscape and, and maybe get a cool shot of me fishing overhead or something like that. But, um, but yeah, DJI, this is the case that I use for the Mavic Mini. And that's kind of what I'm carrying around most of the time. When I go out, I'm throwing that into my pack. I'll show you that here, here in a minute, my waterproof pack or dry bag. And that's, that's kind of what's going with me. So that's, those are the cameras that I use and some of the mounts that I use for that gear. So let's talk a little bit about audio. When I first started, I got very frustrated with trying to get good audio. I used a lot of the older GoPros and the audio, if, you, if you've ever tried them, it, it was atrocious. Seems like once I went into the, the GoPro 8, purchased the 8, um, the audio got a lot better, the internal audio. But I tried different external microphones and I just didn't find myself 
using them a lot out in the field. So with the GoPro 8 and GoPro 10, I feel like the internal audio is, 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 is good enough to not distract the viewer from watching. Like I said, starting at the GoPro 8, the audio got a lot better, so I just quit basically running external audio. I do have a Rode Wireless Go that I'm using right now um, that I absolutely love. This thing has been super handy. I've got a Rode Wireless Go plugged into my phone right now and um, it's wireless so and I've got a lavalier mic that runs down to this receiver and this is awesome for I use this for a lot of my reviews or just just like what I'm doing right now I use it a lot for hunting because if I have somebody 20 20 feet away and they've got the wireless uh, remote on um, you know they're they're just they're just whispering and I'm picking up everything um, from um, from this receiver. So this uh, wireless go is something I use all the time, and it's really the only external audio that that I use at this moment. So that's the Rode wireless go. Uh, another thing that I got here is this is a media mod for a GoPro 8. Um, so if I want to run external audio. On my GoPro 8, this is this is what I'm using. Um, this is supposedly has a little better audio with the Media Mod, but I haven't noticed the difference between just running it without the Media Mod versus with the Media Mod. The audio sounds about the same to me. Um, <clears throat> but I, I don't use this much anymore. Now, when all I had was the GoPro 8, um, I did use this. Um, the nice thing about this is. It's got this uh, coal shoe, so you can you can put lights or anything like that. Um, you can hook, like I said, you can hook your external audio in right there. So I do carry this around with me in this case right here, um, and like at night or something like that. Um, now and again, I will use this, so it is something that I carry with me. Um, this little light's pretty handy uh, at night just the GoPro light. It's kind of expensive for what it is, but I went ahead and bought it anyways, and it actually makes a good backup light. So, <clears throat> so as far as audio, not doing anything spectacular there. I use the internal audio uh, for my GoPro 10. I do have a media mount for my GoPro 8 that I will use from time to time, and then I do use this Rode Wireless Go quite a bit. I do have a, shot, a Rode shotgun mic, but I just don't you know, I just don't, I don't find myself using it on my chest or anything like that. And uh, right now I just don't, if I had a mirrorless camera or something like that. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm running with the uh, external audio. Don't do a lot of it, just just the wireless go with the lavalier mark. That's, a, that's about the extent of um, what I'm, what I'm uh, using as far as external audio. So, so yeah, that's my external audio. In this case, this is kind of just a spare case. This case, um, I have a, uh, I have the light, like I said, the GoPro light, the media mod. I'll usually put my wireless Go 2 in here, and then I'll have this. Uh, this is a 10,000, I believe. I believe it's a 10,000. Uh, but Anchor, I love Anchor. They've, they've always done a good job. Never had any problems with them. Um, carry these in the back country several times, and uh, cold weather, warm weather, they. They just continue to work, so I haven't had a need to switch to anything else. Um, but I've, I've got two of these, and so this is kind of my spare. So I'll keep this in here, medium mount, light. Um, if I'm just going out on the creek waiting, I'm not really taking this with me. I'll kind of show you what I'm taking. But if I go on a trip or something, um, this is going with me. So I'll kind of show you my, my waiting setup. So if I'm waiting down the creek, I, I pretty much got this, this, and this. Sometimes I'll bring the tripod with the phone. Like on, uh, on some trips, I'll bring the tripod on the phone. It's a little bit more time consuming because I got to sit up and get a good shot, but it just makes the video so much better. So this is, this is pretty much what I'm using right here along with the tripod and the phone. Um, we've already talked about the GoPro 8, the GoPro 10. And this is kind of my, I've had these dry bag forever, so it's pretty bad shape, but it's, it's done a good job. But this is, 
everything that I carry. Um, I carry this with me. I put this in my pack and this is how I charge all my batteries. Um, so say that I pull a battery out of my GoPro 8, I'll just, you know, pull my charger out of here, plug it in and it'll be charging in my pack while I'm fishing. I keep a bunch of, uh, S or I keep a few spare SD cards. This is a charger for my GoPro 10 batteries. These are all my GoPro 10 batteries. So, um, like I said, that Volt is the equivalent to maybe three or four batteries, I believe. And so I've got three more batteries. So I've, I've got enough batteries without having to charge them for, you know, quite a while. So, and then I keep a lot of just, I keep a lot of these quick clips because I tend to break a lot of them. But um, I do keep a lot of these quick clips with me. And then um, I keep, um, this is the door to my GoPro 10. So say that I didn't want to run the Volta. Say I didn't want to run the Volta. I take this door off, put a battery in it and put the original door back on. So I always keep that with me. And then I keep some of this uh, Velcro. It comes in handy sometimes. But that's it. So some quick clips, Velcro, GoPro door, all my GoPro 10 batteries, charger, cable. That's going into uh, this dry bag. And that's usually going in my pack. So that is, that's my setup. If, like I said, if I'm just going on, if I'm just waiting or something like that, then this is going with me. My GoPro 10, my GoPro 8, of course my chesty. This is probably just not going out for the day to wade with. I'll probably staying uh, in my truck, um, but I usually do bring it with me. And then <clears throat> I, don't, I don't bring this with me when I'm waiting, but I do bring it in my truck and my camera gear. And depends on what I'm doing if I carry this, but if I go out on my kayak, I'll bring this with me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what I got going on. This is essentially everything that I'm using along with what I'm filming with right now. And that's it. Um, this is a fish pond backpack. If I'm going out on the kayak, my drone's going in here. I like this because it's a big bag. I can just set everything. in here and that's that'll keep everything dry of course i put other stuff in here too throughout the day but i've also got a gopro quick clip uh, that i actually like to keep with me forgot to mention that yeah but i love this pack it's got a lot of room it's pretty durable and um if I'm waiting, I can keep all my camera gear in there and uh, fish. That's my camera gear, that's what I use to store it in. All right, so let's talk about settings and features um, of these cameras. Um, I run a 256 gig SD card in this uh, GoPro 10. Um, a couple features that I really like about this, something that's new to I think the nine, I think they first introduced it in the nine and 10 is the hindsight feature. This is pretty cool, um, and it's it's really handy for fishermen. So basically, <clears throat> what I do is I turn the camera on, but I don't record. And like I said, you never know kind of when that bite's going to happen. So you may be fishing for an hour. You've got the camera on, but you're not you're not recording. You're not eating up your SD card space. Well, they have a, a new feature in these called the hindsight feature. And so what that allows you to do is say that. Um, say you're fishing and you catch a fish, you press this, this top record button, this quick record button, it'll actually capture the last 30 seconds of when you press that button. So say that you've been fishing there for an hour, nothing's going on, and all of a sudden you hook a fish, press that button, and it will go back and uh, the last 30 seconds and capture that hook set, um, which is an awesome, awesome feature. The only problem is, is you've got to leave the GoPro on, which of course, um, 
you know eats up a little bit of your battery but like i said with this gopro with this volta you know that kind of combats that so that's why i absolutely love this setup so i use the hindsight feature another feature that i use quite a bit and i use this feature more on my kayak is looping mode looping mode saves so much sd card space because um, like i said if you've got this thing back and just recording for for two hours and you don't catch a fish you've got all that footage on your sd card how looping mode works is you turn your camera on you press the record button and essentially it records for five minutes or you you can pick the time frame it could be five minutes 20 minutes um, i run five minutes and basically what it does is it just runs for and it just deletes everything before that initial five minutes so if you're running you know minute one minute two minute three minute four <clears throat> it keeps the most recent stuff and deletes the old stuff um, which um, there's lots of videos that you can you can look up looping mode and uh, on YouTube and I'll explain that better but um, long story short is it's a great way to save SD card space and that's usually what I'm running when I've got this on my kayak you just got to remember to once you catch that fish and release it let it go press stop recording so but yeah uh, hindsight feature looping mode that's the two cool features that I love on this camera like if I have it on my kayak behind me I'm running at like 1080 frames per uh, excuse me I'm running at 1080 at like 60 frames per second if I'm in looping mode uh, if I'm not in looping mode it may be at 4k uh, 4k at 60 frames per second this camera just doesn't do 4k at 60 frames per second in looping mode I've done videos in 4k and I've done them in 1080 and uh, I haven't noticed much difference uh, I do like I do like shooting in 4K because it allows me to crop in at post. So that's one of the main reasons that I like shooting in 4K. <clears throat> I like 60 frames per second. I like shooting in 60 frames per second all the time because that allows me to go back and uh, slow down footage if I'd like to do that. So ideally 4K at 60 frames per second is what I would shoot in everything. But with that, you get a lot of uh, SD card space. Like I said, Looping mode, you're, you can only do 4K at 30 or 1080 at 60. So I choose 1080 at 60 because I want that uh, slow-mo. That's if I'm on a kayak. Now, if I've, if I've got this on my chest, I'm usually running this at 4K at 60 frames per second in hindsight mode. So 4K, uh, ideally 4K, 60 frames per second in super view. Uh, that wide view allows me to kind of see, see the whole picture. Um, but yeah, those are my main settings. 256 uh, gig SD card in here. I think I've got a 512 and my GoPro 8. My drone, it shoots 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Um, something else to mention, I do like to shoot night lapses and time lapses. It's just a great way I found to kind of show a transitional time, you know, from one day to the next or <clears throat> um, time passing or something like that. Um, and this GoPro Volta, this GoPro Volta uh, makes it a lot easier to do that because the battery, um, you can just set it up, set it on its legs, point it up to the sky, and it takes great, great night time lapses. So, but yeah, that's it. I hope this video helps you guys. But that is my setup. Um, I would love to hear if you have any questions or any comments on how you guys set your filming gear up. Uh, what your setup looks like i'm always wanting to learn um, so i'd love to hear uh, if you've got any ideas comments or questions hit me up love to hear them but this is just kind of where i'm at in my my journey and that's that's what this whole filming thing is is, is a journey it's just constantly evolving so like i said my goals were just to have fun keep it simple and just continually try to get better and and, and make better videos but yeah hope this video helps you y'all have a great day